everyone, it's Elise from The Painter Brush & Co. Today I am working on this TV unit and I thought I'd do a video showing the first coat of paint and showing the first coat being rolled on with a Too Fussy Blokes roller. So I am using the Too Fussy Blokes 5mm nap roller which is the smooth, perfect for a nice smooth finish which I've got here um, with the TV unit. And I'm using Pure Eco's Chalk Finish in the colour Myrtle. Now, this application can be used with any kind of paint that you like. I love the chalk finish. I love the colour of it. I love the feel of it. Um, and it's exactly the look that I'm going for for this particular unit. So here I am just pouring out some of my paint. Don't pour out too much. You want to pour out just enough and if you need more is great but you don't want to be pouring out so much that you're wasting paint so pour out just a, just just enough I've poured maybe a third of a cup here and then you want to load up your roller just like I am here what I mean by loading it up is you want to get that paint nice and evenly distributed across your roller that's going to give you a nicer finish so I'm going to roll the entire first coat Normally, what I would do is I would go in with my paintbrush first and I would cut in anywhere where I know my roll is not easily going to cover. But I want to, for the purpose of this video, I want to show you what the roller itself can do and what it can get into. Um, just, just to give you a better idea of how much um, time you can save with the roller as well and how much coverage you can get with just a roller instead of a paintbrush. So I like to roll in mostly one direction but of course this is the first coat so I really want to make sure that I get all those edges covered really well as well. Remember first coat is always going to be not perfect. You're not going to have 100% coverage. I know it does look like I almost do in that video you're always going to have elements where it's not perfect and that's completely okay. Your first coat is always going to look a little bit ugly. So the Pure Eco Chalk Finish is a uh, water-based chalk paint. It's Aussie made and owned. It's eco-friendly. It goes on like an absolute dream whether you are rolling, brushing it on, you can wipe it on or you can even spray it as well. It is such a beautiful, soft texture. I fell in love with chalk paint originally because of this formula. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm rolling it on. Of course, like everything, don't overwork your paint. Once it's on, leave it be. Of course, we're rolling. We're not going to have brush strokes. But if you continue to roll over a surface that is starting to dry, you're actually going to start pulling that paint back off. Prep for this piece was really straightforward and easy. All I did was give it a really good scrub with some hot soapy water. This piece had a lot of dirt and grime built up, particularly along the base there. It was not very pleasant. So a really good clean. You don't want to be painting over any sort of dirt or grime. Even if you don't have an issue straight away, later on it's very likely that your paint will start to flake away and come off as that dirt and grime lifts um, and moves. So you want to be making sure that you give every single piece a really good clean. So this piece was scrubbed with hot soapy water um, and then I went back over it again with a clean bucket of water just to make sure any remaining residue, soap residue was removed and any remaining uh, dirt or grime was removed as well. I then went in and sanded it. So I did a scruff sand, which is just scruffing up the surface. It's just roughing it up. I'm not sanding it back to raw. I'm not taking off the finish. It's just to rough it up and take away a little bit of that shine and help that paint stick to that surface. So scruff sanding, 80 grit sandpaper, I use my electric sander for this piece because I already had it out for another piece. So really quick, really easy, 
about five minutes all up of sanding and my prep time total was about 15 minutes for this piece just because it was quite a lot grimier and dirtier than what I would normally have. Okay, so I started painting this side and then I realised that I forgot to move the camera, so I apologise for that. So the sides of this piece you can see are like a slat wall almost. They've got like little divots and grooves. So with the 5mm nap, it's too short um, of fibres on my roller. They are too short to get into those. So normally what I would do um, is I would actually come in with my brush first and I would cut in those areas first. Um, just a tiny bit of paint down them just to make sure that they're done and then I'd roll over the top. Because um, I want to show you this piece rolling start to finish um, for the first coat, I thought I would do it this way instead just to show you what the roller gets and what it misses. So I'm getting up and down all those areas as well covered as I can without overworking the paint. I'm getting up and underneath the top of the piece and then going around that corner as well and getting down along the base of it. I absolutely dread painting the internals like this piece has. Those little nooks and crannies are an absolute nightmare. I don't enjoy them. They're really hard to do and I find them really exhausting trying to get my brush strokes nice. But rolling it, game changer. Best thing I've ever done. From now on, I'm rolling any sort of internals like this. This is the first time that I have rolled an internal on a piece. It's what I'm doing from now on, hands down. It was so much easier. To finish, this piece took me all up about 15 minutes um, for the first coat, 10 minutes for the second coat. The top of the piece I painted in a different colour, about five minutes there. So all up with sealing, this piece took me under an hour start to finish to complete. Thank you so much for watching. You can find all the products on our website. Have a wonderful day.